Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gaming here. AMD have just released their new driver, Catalyst 14.12. Now this driver is a little more significant than the ones that they previously released this year. So much so that they've given it its own name, Omega. I'm just going to go to AMD's official website now and show you the release notes so we can have a look at some of the new features and performance improvements that will be coming with this driver. So here are the release notes for the new driver. One of the main features I've been looking forward to is Virtual Super Resolution VSR. Basically allows you to render your games at a higher resolution and display them at a lower resolution as well. Up to 4K quality gaming on a 1080p HD display. 5K monitor support's also been added if you're fortunate to actually have one. Um, they've added some enhancements for picture and video but if you really want to look at those you can pause the video and, and have a read. Um, frame pace and enhancement so if you're using Crossfire um, you'd be happy about that. OpenCL 2.0 support has been added as well some new features to that but one of the main things I'm really interested in is the performance optimizations. So they say Call of Duty Advanced Warfare you can expect up to 30% increase in performance with FXAA and lower game resolutions. Assassin's Creed Unity also has some single GPU improvements and crossfire improvements. Same with Dragon Age Inquisition. The so Far Cry 4 performance optimizations up to 50% more increase in single GPU scenarios with AA enabled. It's been over a year since the R9 series was actually released and up to 90% more performance increase since launch so that's pretty good and 29% more performance if you're an APU user. I know AMD does take quite a bit of stick for their drivers sometimes but I've been using the R9 290 for about a year now and um, apart from some of the initial black screen problems at the very start it's been quite a stable driver and I haven't really had any problems with it. So what I plan on doing now is just running a few benchmarks with Catalyst 14.9 and um, the latest Catalyst 14.12 and just giving you a side by side comparison to see if there's actually any improvement. And also running the specific games which um, boast of quite a few um, performance increases like uh, Far Cry 4. Um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and also um, Assassin's Creed Unity so I'll do some side by side comparisons of those and I'll also demonstrate um, this new VSR technology anyway that's it for me I'm gonna leave you to check out the results I hope you enjoy the rest of the video
as you can see, there isn't much of a performance increase when it comes to benchmarks between the two drivers. I'm going to run some gameplay comparisons now, and hopefully the results will paint a different picture. AJ, did you get my family? Not yet. I'm making my way there. Okay. Look, you must sneak in. It's important. Paul is a rat, and rats always find a way off a sinking ship. He can't suspect anything until it's too late. And don't forget, AJ, he's throwing a party. So find out where he's kidnapping his meat and sneak in with him. This one shit on himself. I'm not going to be a grunt forever. I'm still calling. Collect the bounty. Retire to this. So that's pretty much it for the gameplay comparisons between the two drivers. I did notice an increase definitely, especially with Assassin's Creed uh, Unity. That showed a massive increase. I'm going to do a separate video on that, but when I used to walk around uh, towns and the cities with um, loads of NPCs around, I used to average around 43 frames per second, but now it hovers between 55 to 58 frames per second. So definitely a massive increase and definitely a good job by AMD so pretty happy with it I'm gonna finish off now by showing off the virtual super resolution feature and what you need to do to enable this feature is you need to open your catalyst control center then you need to click my digital panels then click properties and then there's this feature called enable virtual super resolution all you need to do is check that box and hit apply now, as you can see my native resolution is 1920 by 1200 that's my maximum resolution once I enabled the feature I can now go all the way up to 2560 by 1600 
so that's uh, all the way up to 2k and it does look pretty good I know I can't show it through the video but it basically changes my whole desktop and increases uh, the working area size so it does work okay so now I've loaded up Assassin's Creed Unity I just want to show off this super virtual resolution feature in game and show you how it looks remember my native resolution is 1920 by 1200 but now that I've enabled this SVR feature I can now scale the game all the way up to 2560 by 1600 now if you keep an eye on the frames per second you can see it's at 59 frames per second and it's taken a massive dip that's because I've enabled uh, obviously the 2k resolution now so the performance goes down with it but that's just to show you that it does actually work and of course I can't show you the increase in quality but um, I can definitely see it from my end so it's, it works great and not saying it's going to be better than a 2k monitor but it's definitely a decent feature to have especially if you've got frames per second and extra performance to burn and you can just crank up the visual quality I want to put it back to my native resolution and show you just how much this drive has increased um, the performance it used, I used to hover around 40 frames per second but now I'm in the 50s and 60s so AMD have done a great job with this driver and I definitely if you haven't installed it already you definitely need to so that's pretty much it for my Catalyst 14.12 Omega driver overview and comparison um, this driver has certainly impressed me especially the super virtual resolution feature I know AMD does take quite a bit of stick for not having the most optimized drivers in the world especially from Nvidia users and other critics out there but they've definitely done a very very good job with the Omega driver and it's definitely impressed me so if you haven't got it already you definitely need to try it out because it is pretty much free performance and it's uh it's probably the best driver they've ever come out with if I'm if I'm honest so well done AMD anyway that's pretty much it for me now hopefully you enjoyed the video